Hey everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Summer Lake. Today with Germany 2 of 2 and this is making actually the habitat for the grizzly bear and the amazing wolf or the timber wolf I should say. And this is in particular very exciting because when we will get the new update 1.3 alongside the DLC next week or actually coming Tuesday this means this will be pretty exciting uh, because then our wolves should have a wonderful different uh, kind of skin pattern and the grizzlies should have potentially a little bit of variation too, maybe not too much because there's not that much variation in, in real life. But in general this is super exciting and this um, actually prior very, not boring, but very, you know, generic habitat now becomes a lot more exciting because I will be able next week to showcase this a little bit more in real time with the different skin variants, which I will do. Um, and this is why I'm preparing this here right now. Also, that means you guys won't get a uh, time, like a real-time overview today, because I think it's kind of pointless to show it in the old version right now, while it's just a few days until the new version is there. Now, um, that said, we will still have a kind of cool episode today, because it's all about landscape and foliage. And honestly, though, um, this was one of the more relaxing streams we had lately. I, I really did enjoy the way how it all went, uh, because we were just, you know, placing down some rocks and stuff and having had a good chat about the new DLC. Um, and this is again me reminding you guys. So if you want to, whoops, I just hit over my, my bottle of water here. Um, it's still okay. It didn't, didn't make anything wet here. Uh, but if you guys want to catch me live, uh, please make sure to check the link in the description. There is the link to my live stream uh, channel and you can please leave a follow there as well because then you will be notified whenever I'm live. Lately, there have been a lot of people watching, which was really cool and gave me a lot of uh, possibility to get into real-time interaction with you guys, which um, I, I really do admire. It's super cool. I love it. Um, and yeah, it's just very amazing. By the way, if you, if you guys are wondering why there is always a little red... Um, kind of circle around the mouse cursor which is not available. Uh, <laughs> I basically misclicked a little button on my recording software so whenever I do the overview videos of uh, of the uh, DLCs or whatnot I'm, I'm mostly having this little highlight button so you guys can see where I click in an image to show you where I see some stuff hidden and in particular this video was where I was pointing out that the grass looks very crazy um, on one of the um, fur variant screenshots and in fact I was right this was already some kind of foliage from the upcoming uh, Australia pack they have sneakily hidden in there um, but I forgot to just redo it and I clicked the wrong button and so you don't see the cursor but in fact you are actually having this little red thing so you can see where I am clicking all the time um, <laughs> which is which is very funny to see now here in, in sped up version but yeah this is just uh, me being stupid, so please excuse me, that is uh, just my mistake, but yeah, just in case you're wondering. Here you can see uh, bringing these wolves in, um, and also the grizzly bears. You can see obviously there's a whole bunch of problems here we have, um, but they were just in to make sure that I, I give them already a tiny bit of uh, yeah, uh, room to move, so I can actually tell how this looks. But yeah, we actually finished off this area here with a little pond, uh, making sure that this looks kind of cool, where the staff members are going into the backstage area, and I think it's just looking really cool, to be honest. I'm, I'm very happy with how the habitat so far turned out in this entire area. I mean, you have you have now in this lake, um, the summer lake, we have a lot of cool difference, uh, different areas in here. And I, I really think it, it became better than I think um, I ever expected at the beginning. However, obviously we will have less areas than I thought, so I will end this after the Australia pack. I'm very sorry guys, but there is no point in me continuing that. I have so many projects right now um, and there's just no chance for me to go to, to go on with that. I will do say though that um, I will carry on that idea into some more one-off habitats. So. In case um, you haven't followed uh, Yosemite, um, there is also Yosemite is also moving to a point where there is not that much to do. Like I will, f I will start a season number four, but this will be mainly to bring in the um, Australia animals somehow. Not all of them, but some. And then the park is also almost full, so there is not that big of a chance to continue much more. Kuali Zoo will potentially um, come back, so that means also I have some some stuff to do there as well. And um, talking of which, uh, I will then also move to a more, let's say, infrequent series uh, upload. Uh, that means I won't be having a, 
um, let's say every Saturday Yosemite or stuff video, not for the moment, um, but it, you know, it will carry on for a few more weeks, so don't worry about this. Um, I will then go to a bit more one-off areas. I will say that I want to get a bit more creative. I have something really, really awesome prepared for you guys. I am working on that for like over four months now. Um, and this is something with Planet Zoo, but it's not like related to the game directly. It's something completely different. I found something that I wanted to do for such a long time in any kind of game. And I, I just found that Planet Zoo is the right game to do it. I, I've shown this to a few people. They are completely blown away. They are completely amazed. They've never thought that this would be possible in a game like that. But I, I just wanted to do something like this for such a long time. I even wanted to do this with um, Planet Coaster. I started preparing something actually in Planet Coaster. Maybe at some point I will show it to you guys. But I definitely found it a bit more... Um, a bit more suiting and, and doable in Planet Zoo. And yeah, I'm very excited to showcase this to you. It, it might come in the next two weeks if I'm now in my holidays finally able to finish it off. I mean, I again, I have so many ideas um, in my mind and so some things never see the light of day. But this in particular is something I have redone a million times to really make it look exactly the way I want it to have. It's editing work is insane so in case I'm, I'm releasing an episode on that it will be a thing that potentially is there every two or three months maybe because the editing work is just beyond crazy um, I think I'm, I'm editing on this video in particular already for like over 60 hours now um, which is just to figure out the right template the second episode won't take 60 hours again because the template is done but just setting up the template is just freaking ridiculous um, but yeah and anyways, it's just a little bit of teasing here while you can see that I'm doing a little bit of the habitat here, um, just getting in with a bit more nice looking um, kind of uh, fence here that is meant to be the little, uh, you know, the, the little uh, separation between the actual habitat and the natural area. Again, I wanted to make sure that this all looks as natural as possible. I kind of had the idea for such a long time that this must be natural um, because I think, you know, making this too much staged is kind of weird and we are still in a somewhat European located zoo. Um, even though it's Disney, Disneyland, this can still be pretty much a, a kind of more natural area here. And while the Japanese uh, macaques and, you know, Asia has to be changed a little bit and, you know, Egypt has to be changed a little bit because it's not like down to this area here and the Everglades in particular as well. You have to heat up the water and stuff. This area in particular can be the way it is and be more natural. So kind of, you know, take that straight out of nature. And I wanted to make sure that this kind of atmosphere and feeling is carried into the video and, and into the build. Uh, and you will see that I later on will try to hide away the actual barriers as much as I can. I think I succeeded in doing that quite nicely um, with actually what we're doing right now. I was kind of creating a little blueprint here of foliage getting together, um, which can be used as a natural border. So the way of placement here of the foliage is maybe a, a little bit um, weird to you in the first glance, but the, the major thing about this is I wanted to make sure that the animals can't go through. So I was placing a whole bunch of different trees uh, so that it makes sense, uh, but still looks kind of cool and still looks, um, you know, exciting enough to be carried forward. And you will see that I have a certain technique now uh, to use this kind of nicely. So what I do is I create one blueprint. I will copy this over quite a lot of times and then I will start to, you know, just delete some pieces here and there, alter the height, alter the pieces in there and just making sure that this looks not too um, repetitive so you can see now I'm jumping in and just kind of deleting some stuff I will put in some new stuff and just to make sure that this kind of doesn't look too weird I mean like if you look onto a forest uh, quite often the forest does look quite repetitive in the first lands of, of course not every kind of single tree is exactly the same um, so the the natural area looks always a bit different so you can see this is a very easy way of doing it by the way this is also how procedural kind of stuff looks in games and stuff you always have the same patterns repeating themselves but mix into each other in a different kind of way this is how this works to make it look somewhat realistic but still not using too many different stuff because you know modeling every single thing on your own is just freaking insane 
Well, you can see this is now what I'm doing is kind of bringing in uh, the boundary a little bit further into the into the forest to make sure it looks a bit more natural and then just combining those two and then I was um, starting to delete some little things in here to make sure that they can actually go through to the back you can see I just made them two narrow pathways in here in order to them go in here and you can see we had some issues with some trees providing them an extra little uh, help to escape the habitat and I was trying to figure out a way how to basically avoid that they do not escape you can see it's, it's quite hard to find but eventually I found all the different uh, spots that were needed to be changed um, in order to make sure that they cannot escape but yeah now we are moving forward uh, slowly to my favorite part of today's video and this is um, a very 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 detailed little rock that is basically part of this habitat for a specific reason um, and I wanted to have something really to focus on uh, in terms of your look and you will see in a bit that I will start doing this rock uh, first of all finishing off some stuff here with the nature which again is, is one of the most important things to make it look uh, very natural and awesome and just kind of not too not too repetitive and if you see that I'm moving my camera around to show stuff it's mainly because um, you know in the live stream I'm always uh, always there to explain some stuff so in case you guys have some questions I'm always there to answer and sometimes it's in the recording I forget to uh, cut this out because it's just a few seconds and if it's sped up that much it doesn't really make too much sense to cut this all out but just here to mention that in case you have some questions I'm all I'm also more than likely to answer them but now we get to this very favorite thing I said um, so I was creating a little moss stone here but then just kind of let my let my creativity run wild and make sure that this looks like really cool indeed and you can see that I was starting to really play around with all the assets we have just moving rocks in into each other using some foliage peeking through here and there just making sure that this all looks um, very foresty you know um, very overgrown having some some fern here and there you know some bracken and just kind of using these things here to get some of these moss flowers in without using this uh, potentially very weird greenish moss piece it doesn't really go together too well with the south america um uh, moss piece but it still looks kind of cool but you can see i was i was really really trying to make this look super dense and and overgrown and just you know, you know just like something that you would find in a forest and there you can see i'm using that as a blueprint over here and using those two stones making sure that this kind of makes sense i was trying to get this done as a little particular climbing rig for the grizzly bears but i didn't really succeed in making them move there so at the end it, i just left it the way it is i just made this um, log fall over here and just you know i don't know i just left it the way it is but they couldn't go up you will see in a bit I, i'm trying here but they they just don't move up which is a bit of a pity i would have loved to see them climb there but yeah you know it can also be just an element of style i'm i think i'm fine with that and then obviously yeah, using this rock here and there just making sure you have a lot of foliage going on and making sure that this all looks uh, somewhat uh, believable and realistic you see i'm i'm kind of trying to make this tree kind of grow through the stone i mean usually it's not possible but in in fact i'm i was just wondering maybe there's like a hole in the stone sometimes you see this in a forest and yeah just using using all the different tools available to make this all look good and i think it really looks partially very nice and then i've got uh, still a lot of open fields which i will hope to use a bit more uh, grass but anyways that's it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to tune in for the next one and now have a wonderful day goodbye everyone thank you for watching this video i really do appreciate it i really hope you enjoyed it and um yeah i was really happy to have you here in case you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet make sure to consider subscribing you can do it via this button here and if you want to see more uh, there's some cool other stuff linked here for you this is suggested for you personally that's pretty cool and in case you want to support the channel a tiny bit more you can do it via this wonderful hype camel link over here i really would appreciate it. and also big thank you already to all the people who do already support the channel really do appreciate that but now have a wonderful time guys and I catch you in the next one.